For years, Bible Way Church of Atlas Road has proved to be a pillar of the community and a leading place for worship. In the early 60s, Bible Way Church of Atlas Road was known as the Bible Way Church of Arthurtown and referred to as the Little Red Church. The congregation of the Little Red Church consisted of 13 members and their children. In 1966, the Little Red Church was destroyed by fire, but services were able to resume in the auditorium of Atlas Road Elementary, now known as the C. R. Neal Dream Center. In 1967, Bible Way Church of Arthurtown arose from the ashes and was renamed Bible Way Church of Atlas Road. In 1981, the church moved to what is recognized today as the sanctuary, and in 2001, Bible Way Church of Atlas Road expanded to the massive building we currently know as the Worship Center. In the 70s, Bishop Jackson's sermons were among the first broadcasted on local radio stations. Today, we continue to broadcast recorded sermons on local radio and stream live on our website as well as social media. Upon Bishop Jackson's retirement in 1996, the torch was handed off to our current leader, Pastor Darrell Jackson Sr. Bishop Jackson transitioned into his heavenly home in 2006. For close to seven decades, Bible Way Church of Atlas Road has established several ministries and developed numerous community projects and organizations, focusing on everything from education, prison outreach, safety, health, and offering resources to the community. Happy 50th anniversary to the Bible Way Church of Atlas Road and a special 25th anniversary to Pastors Darrell and Willie Mae Jackson. Thank you for the time to give tribute to the founding members as well as Bible Way's matriarch, Mother Elizabeth Simmons. Although I never had the privilege of meeting her, her blood runs through my veins. I am proud to have such an awesome family and spiritual lineage. As I think back to how so many of us were raised in the Bible Way Church, now several generations of us, I have to thank God for blessing us with such a solid foundation rooted in the Word of God. We were surrounded by persons who not only cared for our physical well-being, but more importantly, our spiritual health. They did not care if it was popular or mainstream. They knew our souls were at stake and they were steadfast in the work of the Lord. I have no doubt they suffered a little so that we now can be restored, supported, and strengthened as the anniversary scripture states. We still have the gift of two of our 13 founding members with us today, Mother Janie Ruth Jackson, and Mother Betty English King. Did you both know 50, 58 years ago, the impact your dedication and beliefs would have on so many? You were the start of something so inspirational, so life-changing for so many. And the wonderful thing about you both is you always kept God first. As Bishop Jackson said, soul saving was your number one business. Today, we stand on the shoulders of you, Aunt Janie and mom. Thank you for your sacrifice. Again, Happy 58th anniversary to the entire Bible Way Church of Atlas Road. Be blessed and be well. I am just so grateful and thankful to God for allowing me to be here all of these 58 years of the church. Since it was established, I've been here. And for the 25 years, wonderful years, that uh, Darren and Lukey, Pastor Jackson and Lady Jackson have been uh, leaders of this church. I praise God for the wonderful work that has been done. We started out, I think it was uh, on uh, Bluff Road. I know it was on Bluff Road when we started out 58 years ago. And at that time, God has, it was only 13 of us, but I tell you the Spirit of God was so prevalent among the 13 of us just as it is today when there are thousands of us. And I just thank God for that. It was a wonderful work the 13 of us did for God. There was only one minister among the 13 of us, and that was Mother Elizabeth Simmons. And she spoke to us so fervently. We did not like the Word of God, lack it at all. But God, Mother Simmons brought to us a wonderful a word that came from the God. She was came from God. She was anointed and she was well established in God's word. And I just thank God for her dedication and her uh, privilege of bringing God's word for us. Also, uh, those 13 years we stayed there, God blessed us in a very, very special way. But I thank God for my husband who uh, was the first pastor of the church, A.C. Jackson. He did a wonderful work. 
did what he could to add souls to the kingdom of God. And that was so wonderful. He did a marvelous work. And then um, in, when was it, 1996, I think, that God appointed a new leader because at that time, uh, Bishop Jackson was becoming ill and he was no longer able to do the work that he desired to do for God. But God had somebody established already. Even before Bishop became ill, God knew that Daryl and uh, Lady Jackson would take over the work. And they, for 25 years, have been doing a wonderful work. I just thank God for the work that they've done. They've established so much. Many souls have come to know Christ as Lord and Savior. Many buildings have been built, but it's not in the buildings. I thank God most of all for the wonderful souls that came to know Christ that was reconciled unto Christ as Lord and Savior. I praise God for them. I, I just pray that the Lord will continue to bless us all, that all of the people that came to know Christ will grow in Christ, will do a marvelous work for Christ that has, has already been done. Thank God and I pray that this work here on Atlas Road will continue to prosper and be in health even as our souls prosper. God bless you all, and I praise God and congratulate all of you for the good work that you've done.